Okay, uh, so here's some uh, additional pickups. In addition, uh, this is on Saturday. Um, I had one big pickup that I'll show, um, and then also I had these are kind of the side pickups that I got from a few random um, garage sales. Let me go over those real quick. Uh, the first here was a Rangoku, uh, the Tower of Purgatory, the PSP. That's complete. Uh, it looked interesting, so I picked it up for the three. I didn't haggle on it or anything, um, but uh, th this was a garage sale where they had a bunch of um, some nerdy stuff, a few animes and uh, some figures and stuff, but that was the only thing I could find that I was really interested in. Um, nice pick up here at Pokemon Leaf Green. Uh, I need to check if it's legit. Priority one message from Starfleet coming in on secured channel. It's a fake. Uh, it was a good pickup for three bucks is how much I got that for. Um, this is a sale where they had um, it posted online that they had a box of games and I showed up at probably 10 minutes early but um, unfortunately someone had already beat me there. Um, the last pickup was from a sale where I got a bunch of electronics actually um, so I kind of lotted this in for 10 bucks uh, Xbox 360S um, yeah I believe it's S model yeah S console it says a um, little dirty but looked pretty good they just had the power cable um, uh, with it, so uh, I went ahead and picked it up. Um, figured it might be a good investment um, to resell, or I might keep it if it turns out it works pretty well. So that was it for those kind of side pickups. Check this out. Oh, look at this beauty. PlayStation Genesis. There's some Nintendo. Look at this beautiful stuff. There, buddy. All right, so here you can see this is probably my best pickup, um, which is kind of hilarious. I've had really great NES box pickup that I got a little while back and I had another pickup where I picked up a NES console in a box with a whole bunch of games um, but this one's probably the best just because of the titles that are in it the titles are just so good and in the breadth really you know I'm literally buying like someone's entire game collection just about really amazing so so this sale um, I went to a neighborhood sale um, that I saw posted walking around and um, this is definitely a case where, you know, the ask, um, you've probably heard it before, and I have to agree that the ask works because this one, they had no games out, zero games out. I went up and asked, you know, hey, do you have any old games like Nintendo or, uh, I'm pretty sure I just said Nintendo. The guy sitting there was like, wait just a second. And so he went inside, you know, and I got excited, oh, great, he might bring out some Nintendo stuff. Um, and he comes out. And the first thing I see, I see he has a big tub, and then he has like a small CD case holder, or like a CD uh, holder, like a wood CD holder that I guess I later found out he made, which sounds kind of cool. Um, he kept it, because <laughs> that's how I knew he made it. He's like, oh, I'm going to keep that case. I was like, okay. But he came out, and he had the stack of PS1 games in that, that case. And in the tub, as soon as he opened it, I saw all these Genesis games. So, you know, already, you know, my mind's blown. I'm like, oh my God, this is going to be amazing. So I started looking through, you know, I saw some amazing titles, as you're going to see here, um, uh, for Genesis even, and a few good titles for PlayStation 1, stuff I've been looking for. So, you know, I was already like, I'm, I got to buy this. And when I told, asked him, you know, I was like, oh, is the system in here? Or is this just games? And he's like, oh, are you interested in the system? Because I have the system as well, um, as well as uh, Nintendo. I was like, oh, uh, yeah, I'm interested in both those things. So he went back down, searched around for a bit while I, I kept looking through, making sure all the games were there and stuff. Uh, he came back out with another tub with Nintendo on the front. And so I looked inside that, and sure enough, you know, I had the Genesis, a whole bunch of cables, and a regular Nintendo and a stack of regular Nintendo games. So, so amazing. You know, I looked through that a little bit, saw there's some good titles in there too. And uh, I was like, I just want all of it. Like, would you, could I just buy all of it? 
And, you know, I, I think as anybody, uh, you know, the guy looked like he was married with, like, two kids, and he was really like, oh, man, I can't believe I'm going to sell all this, but I'm keeping my PlayStation. I'm like, okay, you can keep, keep the PlayStation. Um, I don't even know if he had a PlayStation 1 or if he meant, like, a PlayStation 2 or a PlayStation 4 or something. We, we went back and forth a little bit, uh, you know, discussing what was there, and eventually he threw out a, no a number of 50, and I took it right away just because I knew the games and they were great. So, you know, it was really great. I'm glad he was willing to go, go down on it because I was afraid he was going to hit me with, like, 100 or 150, you know, and it wouldn't have been that crazy um, considering the games, but uh, there's no way, you know, I didn't even have $100 on me, <laughs> let alone could I pay $100. Let me get into it. Uh, like I said, this is probably the best pickup I've had. And it's, it's funny because uh, I was not going to collect for Genesis. Like I kind of stopped collecting them, uh, sold some of the ones I didn't want, uh, but now here I'm getting like amazing Genesis games. And I finally a console. I didn't have a console. So first I'll just show the consoles here. Um, nice little Genesis. Uh, you know, dirty, but luckily in pretty good condition. It's not damaged or anything. Uh, I haven't tested them yet, but with how many games there are, you know, it, it actually doesn't matter if the systems work. Of course I want them to, but they, it's not as important. Um, NES is really dirty, but looks to be in okay condition for an NES. Um, the guy did say he hadn't played the NES in like 10 years, so quite possible that doesn't work at all, but once again, that's okay. Um, I wanted the NES games more than I wanted the console. Um, oh, there were uh, the power cables and two controllers for each system. Uh, I'm not showing them, but the, I have them in a box there. So, got all that with it. Um, but yeah, let me go through the PlayStation games. That was really great uh, to see a stack of PlayStation games. Uh, the first one, I believe, is empty. Champion Motocross. Championship Motocross. Yeah. So, that's okay. Sports game, empty game. Um, Jeremy McGrath Supercross. There were some sports games in here, so not all perfect. But that one's there and complete. Here's the first good one, Resident Evil Director's Cut. Um, one of those games I had back in the day, but... Um, got rid of, so I'm glad to have that again. Uh, I think the Greatest Hits isn't worth as much as the other, as the original, but that's okay. Uh, Nuclear Strike. Good pickup. Very welcome pickup. Final Fantasy VII, Black Label. All the discs are there. Um, another one that, um, unfortunately, I didn't have my original copy anymore. And I actually, um, I've been collecting for a while and I didn't have Final Fantasy VII. It's kind of surprising, because that's you know, definitely one of my favorite games, so as is, you know, most people say that because it's an amazing game. But happy to finally get a copy of it that's in good condition. Um, WDF Warzone. I don't know if I'm going to collect sports games for PS1. I'm trying not to do sports games, but, you know, if I'm getting them. Mortal Kombat Trilogy, Greatest Hits version. I did actually have this one already, one of the few of these that I actually already had. Um, Mortal Kombat 4, welcome. Happy to see that. Another good one in there. Didn't have that. Simpsons Wrestling. I may keep that one regardless of whether or not I, I uh, collect the sports games. That's pretty interesting. Um, NFL Game Day 98. I'm pretty sure this is the NFL game I have three copies of. <laughs> because for whatever reason I find weird lots and they have a copy of it. Um, but, you know, whatever. Uh, okay, uh, Rampage World Tour. And this is a bonus sneak peek to Pandemidium 2 and Off-Road Challenge Arcade. So, that's cool. That's another good one. I don't expect it. It's also a PlayStation Underground. It has uh, two demo discs in there, but nothing crazy there. So, let me get to the Genesis. Uh, a copy of Lethal Enforcers with a manual with it. So, that's nice. So, I'll pick up there. Mortal Kombat 3. I definitely like this Mortal Kombat. Plenty of those in there. Um, greatest Heavyweights. Most of these have the manuals too. I'm actually uh, happy to see that. Mortal Kombat 2. Uh, first, first Mortal Kombat. Very nice. Um, this one's like kind of interesting. It's like an old VHS holder. <laughs> um, yeah. 
but it's like a plastic case for it. Don't know why that's what has this in here, but it has a copy of the Power Rangers and of the manual too. But really interesting. For whatever reason, he had it kept in there. Um, so I have some boxed ones. These all have the manuals as well. The boxes are kind of okay. You know, you can see some crushing on the bottoms and stuff, but um, not horrible. Um, clay fighters or clay fighter. Not plural. That's good. Primal Rage. I do have a copy of that for SNES, so. Next one is Hardball. Um, sports game. This one's kind of in an interesting little um, case. You know, it's like a top, top, uh, top cover case. So, that's interesting. Um, and now we get some of the best stuff. Some of the stuff that, as I was looking through, I was like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Like, just stuff that I know is good for Genesis, even though it's not collecting. So right there, you can see it. Castlevania Bloodlines. Lots of stickers on it, but still good. Still a great pickup to get. Um, I know people probably scream, no, 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 but I am going to try to take off the stickers. Um, I hate the stickers on it. And I'm, I'm going to try to like peel it from the back, and then as I get towards the label, if I see it start to tear, uh, I'll use a, probably a blow dryer, and if I see it start to tear, then I'll stop and I'll leave it. But um, it really bugs me, so I don't want to have them on there. Um, and it'll just look better. I mean, especially with that one, it's like completely covering the Castlevania part of it. So, uh, Zombie Ain't My Neighbors. It's another good pickup. Um, I think the SNES one of this is really up there. This one I think is not as high, but still a good pickup. Um, Battletoads Double Dragon. Now this one, the guy did tell me, he said he couldn't get it to work. Um, so this might be a bad copy, but we'll see. Um, you know, I'll do the regular stuff, clean the pins and all that, see if I can get it to work. Uh, here's a copy of Pit Fighter that's in some rough shape. Um, you can see it's kind of cracked on the front there. And actually, I wonder if you catch the bottom there, it's actually dented a little bit on the bottom. So, surprised if that one works. But unfortunately, that's just how it goes. Another kind of rough one, Mutant League Football. Um, yeah, once again, I don't know if you can see it there but there is kind of a bend in the bottom plastic and there's like bite marks in it so I assume maybe a dog <laughs> a dog put it <laughs> or something or chewed, tried to chew it up but kind of a bummer to see that um, but it's just how it goes I suppose okay um, so the next stack here of actual cased ones uh, second class of Street to Rage very nice pickup. Love Street to Rage. Who doesn't love Street to Rage? Sports Talk Football 93. I don't know why you would talk about sports when you have a game right there to play. Seems strange. Nice pickup, Maximum Carnage. This is the red case, one of the red case games. Very cool. That's complete. A little rough on the manual, but still good. Happy to see that. WWF Royal Rumble. Uh, NBA Jam. You know, I don't know if these sports games are worth anything, but you know, it's still cool to have in there. Um, just made the deal a little, little sweeter. But there's a lot of good games, so that's, you know, that's why I picked it up because I was seeing good game after good game, and you know, if it's a few sports game, that's all right. Winter Olympics games. Okay, and that's the last of the Sega games. Yeah, as you can see, there's some amazing titles in there. Um, some really great stuff uh, that I'm pretty happy to get. And uh, kind of, uh, like I said, I don't know if I'll add it to my collection. I might uh, hold on to them for a while, or I might sell some of them. Um, tough decision. <laughs> 
when you're you're not collecting for something, but then you get a whole bunch of good games for that system. It's like, ah, eh, and I have a system now too, so assuming that system works, I can actually play said games. So that's good too. So the last set was the NES games that came with the NES. Happy to get some more pickups for NES. That was a, definitely a, a nice thing there. Uh, the first one, uh, Adventures of Bayou Billy. Very nice. Uh, probably the best one out of the bunch for the next one is uh, Castlevania II Simon's Quest uh, with the manual there. So that's very nice. Um, good condition too. I didn't have uh, Simon's Quest. I know it's the crappier one, <laughs> but uh, still nice uh, to get the Castlevania games. So I was happy to see that and get a little manual on top. Um, WrestleMania. So, WrestleMania. Pretty good. Um, Renegade. Looks interesting. I haven't heard of that one before, but Taito game, so that's good. Uh, this is in the system. Super Mario Duck Hunt. Another good pickup. Mike Tyson's Pud Chow. I see that. I picked that up recently, actually. Um, top's a little messed up, but still good. The only, uh, I guess what you would technically say, an SNES game in there is Super Game Boy. Happy to get that. I didn't have one before. But, yeah, for whatever reason, there was no other SNES games in there, just the Super Game Boy. So, hey, I'll take it. Um, base is loaded. Otherwise known as Jalico. Because the label's wrong. Jalico. Top Gun. Another one, good, good one to see as usual. Uh, Legend of Zelda. It has a big mark or a big sticker on it, but should be able to get that off. Still a good pickup. Uh, gotcha the Sport. Like my third copy of Gotcha. <laughs> another one of those games. Uh, another very good pickup, Battletoads. What I like about these big masses, mass lots that I seem to get is that. Uh, you just get some of those really good games. Uh, another good one, Kid, Kid Icarus. That's a nice uh, unexpected one. And a uh, nice one for good measure, Super Mario 3. That's in really nice condition. Very nice. Like I said, it's quite a great score. It's one of those where you, a you see nothing, you ask, and then the games just start coming out. And then fortunately, um, that scary moment when you ask the big question, what do you want for all of it? And I was lucky, it was always luck, that the guy was like, you know, 50 bucks. That's uh, it's 43 games total um, in this entire lot. So yeah, I paid 50 for two consoles, cables and everything, and 43 games. So it's pretty amazing. Like I said, probably my best pickup. I've only been garage sailing looking for games for a little while, but this one's pretty great, pretty great. Um, it's going to be tough to beat for a while, I think.